After watching a series of videos about national income accounting, you've already gained a basic understanding of concepts like GDP and GNI. National income is an indicator of a country's economic performance and can also be used to compare the income and output levels between people from different countries. However, if country X's per capita real GDP is higher than that of country Y, does this necessarily mean that the residents of country X enjoys a higher living standard? When measuring the people's living standard of a country, are there more factors to be considered other than the per capita real GDP? Limitation 1 of per capita real GDP Negative impact of production activities Even if we know that the per capita real GDP of a country is high, we can't be sure that the living standard of this country must be high as well. Let's assume that country X is a highly developed industrial country with a lot of factories to produce various advanced industrial products. Although industrial production creates a high per capita real GDP for country X, the factories also created serious pollution to the environment to support a high level of output. The industrial waste, water pollution as well as air pollution created by these factories would all lower the living standard of people in country X. Therefore, the per capita GDP actually overestimated the living standard of this country. Limitation 2. Value of leisure time omitted. Imagine the residents of a country keep working from 9 a.m. to midnight every day to maintain the high level of GDP of the country. In this case, residents spend most of their time on working, leaving no time for other activities like consumption or leisure. Even if the GDP and national income of the country are at a high level, the people's living standard will still be low. In other words, GDP may overestimate people's living standard as it doesn't take into account the value of leisure time. Limitation 3. Distribution of income. While considering the overall living standard of people in a country, we have to think about the income distribution among the people too. For example, imagine most of the wealth of a country has been controlled by just a few billionaires and the other residents are very poor. Even though the per capita real GDP of this country may be higher than the others, the living standard of the people in this country may not be as high as that of the people from the other countries. Limitation 4. Illegal and unreported trade. Last but not least, sometimes we may not be able to obtain information about the value of illegal and unreported trade while calculating GDP, so they would be excluded. Therefore, GDP may underestimate the actual amount of goods and services residents can consume. For example, private tutorials are final goods produced by resident producing units which should be included in GDP. Yet, if your tutor doesn't report the tuition fee income received to the Inland Revenue Department, the value of this tutorial service will not be accounted for in GDP. This will in fact underestimate your living standard. Similarly, those street vendors selling pirated handbags would not tell the Customs and Excise Department that they're selling illegal products. As a result, the value of these goods would not be in the GDP calculation. Although illegal, they are still consumption goods and can improve our living standard. Therefore, when there is more unrecorded underground trade in a country, the difference between the actual living standard and the one reflected by its GDP will be greater.